Hey there, I'm Pastor Tony, and in this video, I want to answer five questions about baptism. Five questions about baptism, and here's the first one. Why should I be baptized? Why should I be baptized? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons. Number one, to follow the example set by Christ. When you read through the Gospels, you'll see that Jesus, before he began his public ministry, was baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist. Now, Jesus never sinned. There wasn't necessarily a reason where he really needed to be baptized, but he was setting an example for us to follow. I kind of liken it to when God the Father rested on the seventh day. It wasn't like God was tired, but he was setting an example for us. So why be baptized? Because Jesus modeled it for us. And number two, because Jesus commanded it. After Jesus died and then rose from the dead, right before he was going back to the Heavenly Father, he said to his disciples, go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey. So one of the very last things that Jesus said before he left the earth was to make sure his disciples, as they made disciples, that those disciples, those followers of Jesus, would be baptized. And so Jesus modeled it. Jesus commanded it. And the third reason to be baptized is that it demonstrates that I really am a believer. It says in 1 John 2, 3, we know that we have come to know him if we obey his commandments. One of the ways to demonstrate that we're followers of Christ is to obey him, right? Followers follow. And Jesus said to be baptized. Being baptized is really an opportunity for simply to obey what Jesus calls us to do. But it's more than just obey just because we should obey, it's a wonderful ceremony to be baptized. It's great for the congregation to celebrate with you, and it is a great spiritual step to take uh, in, your, in, your, in your personal journey. Uh, so why should I be baptized? Jesus modeled it. Christ commanded it. It shows we're believers. Now, second question I want to answer is, what is the meaning of baptism. What is the meaning of baptism? I want to give you two things. Number one, it illustrates Jesus's burial and resurrection. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 3 and 4, Paul talks about that. He says, Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again. Do you see that? Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again. The act of baptism literally visualizes what Jesus did on our behalf, right? He died and was buried for our sins, but he rose to defeat the power of sin, Satan, and death. And so baptism demonstrates the very foundation of our faith, the very heart of the gospel, which is that we have a Savior who died for us and who rose from the dead. Not only does it illustrate Jesus' burial and resurrection, but it also illustrates my new life as a Christian, Paul, in another book that he wrote, Book of Romans, Romans 6, 4 said this, By our baptism, then, we were buried with him and shared his death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, so also we may live a new life. So when we're baptized, being baptized, what we're saying to those around us is that we're dying to ourselves and we're alive to live for Jesus Christ. That's what baptism says. I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the foundation of my faith. That's what I'm basing my salvation in. And secondly, in light of that, I want everyone to know that I'm dead to myself. I'm not living for me. I'm going to be alive, and I'm going to live for Jesus Christ. Third question I want to answer is why be baptized by Immersion. Why immersion? Well, number one, because Jesus was baptized that way, most likely, it, because it says in Matthew chapter 3, 16, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. Secondly, every baptism in the Bible seems to have been by immersion. Right? It says in Acts chapter 8 that both uh, Philip and the man went down into the water and Philip baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, and it goes on and uh, shares some things. So it seems like people came up out of the water in their baptism. So most likely it was the result of immersion. Um, third reason why we baptize by immersion is that the word itself, the New Testament was written in the Greek language, and so the word for uh, baptize, baptizo, actually means to dip under water. 
And so the very word self carries the idea of to be dipped under water. And then fourth, and I've already shared this, immersion best symbolizes a burial and resurrection. And so that's why we uh, baptize by immersion. Now, I know, I know that not every denomination does that, um, but that is why I believe that immersion best represents the way that baptisms were done in the Bible. Well, fourth thing, all right? We've already looked at three questions and answered them. The fourth question is this, who should be baptized? Who should be baptized? And the answer is every person who has believed in Christ. If you place your faith in Christ, you should be baptized. Acts chapter 2, verse 41 says, Those who believed and accepted his message were baptized. Acts chapter 8, verse 13 says, Simon himself believed and was baptized. Acts chapter 8, verse 12 says, But when they believed Philip as he preached the good news in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. So when a person believed, they were baptized. That was the pattern in the Bible. So if you've come to know Christ and you haven't been baptized, obey God and be baptized. And the final question is this, when should I be baptized? And I would say, as soon as you have believed, as soon as you have believed. Now you may be watching this and you've been a Christian for 20 years, 30 years. I baptized someone in their 80s recently. I've been a follower of Christ many years and just had not. And so here's the beautiful thing about God and his grace is it's never too late to obey God. And so whether you've been a Christian for a week or a year or 80 years, be baptized if you are a believer. It's a great opportunity to celebrate your faith in Christ. And it's also a great opportunity for your church family to celebrate with you. So I hope that those five questions have been helpful to you. And if you haven't been baptized yet as a believer in Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you to do that. Honor God in obedience. Demonstrate your love as a follower of Christ through baptism. Thank you.